Okay, here we go. It's together with the better used screws that I found. So basically you have a ring that's in there, you have the packing ring, and then you have this outer ring which bolts in. I slathered it with some grease just because it seems like a good idea to lube that thing up for you install it. I'll probably put a little grease around here too just to make me feel better. So yeah, here. I'll get you set up here and um, you can watch the festivities of me trying to wrestle this thing back together. First. Stick a little lube in this thing. Just because we can. A little bit of lube never hurts. Some people might say that coal dust might mix with the lube and cause it to make some basically valve grinding compound, but this thing runs pretty slow, so we're not going to worry about it that much. Grab one of these bolts. And we'll stick some lube back too. Transfer head bolts. So when, when I get it in there, I can just pop the bolt in and that should keep it from going anywhere. I'll stick this here. We'll just set that there. Okay. Here we go. This way, get the packing ring seated in there good. Hopefully, oh, there we go. She went in. That one. Time to move this stuff. Okay, that wasn't so bad. We did get our nice pretty transfer head all dirty. Right, well, let's see how well that cleans up. Hmm. This one goes in the bottom, and I'll 
I'll show you why, because this one has the hole that the wick oiler screws into. Now the wick, for those of us who know some things about old machines, actually has to come through that hole. So we're going to have to pull this out a little bit. Be careful to not break it because if you pull on it too hard it will break. Okay. So there we go. Now you can see the wick actually protrudes through here a little bit. And we'll probably slather some grease on this too. More on that later.